We're back on our project from four years ago, retaining wall project. We built a couple of tiered walls and one taller wall. We called the homeowners and asked them if we could come back out and assess the performance of these structures. They said, you're welcome to come back. When we came out, we saw everything was exactly the way we had designed and built it, but there was a little bit of efflorescence caused by the heavy rains we had early this season and a little bit of moss and mold build up on some of the cap. And we asked the homeowners, hey, would you like us to clean and seal the wall for you? They didn't even know that that was an option. So we're coming in with some cleaners, some sealers. We're going to use the water penetrating type, which is going to help to resist some of this efflorescence and moss in the future. This job's going to look awesome. One of the keys to the application of efflorescence remover on a retaining wall is to first wet the wall down. Now we're not super saturating it, just wetting it. It's just that little bit of dilution that you need when you're applying that efflorescence cleaner. Now you want to let the cleaner do the work. These brushes here uh, are just to supplement if there's a stubborn stain. You want to start always with the nylon bristled brush. This is the least intrusive. Then you want to step up to these brass bristles and finally the steel bristles just for those stubborn stains that won't come out. But let the acid do the work. Here you go. As you can see, our wall's been cleaned with a FlexLock efflorescence remover. There's only a couple of stubborn stains where we have about a 90% improvement, but we want to get this crevice cleaned out before we seal it. So we're going to use this conical tip on our pressure washer that will distribute the load or pressure from that machine so that we don't have any etching in our wall. We'll be able to clean that crevice and we'll be ready to go with sealer. Fire it up! Once our wall has been cleaned, it's now time to seal. But there's a lot of water trapped in the pores of this block. So we're going to accelerate that drying time using blowers. Now we're using a water-based or water-penetrating sealer. So there can be some moisture in the wall, we just don't want it wet. Come on, guys. As you can see, there's still some moisture in our wall. There's no dripping, there's no ponding or pooling of water, just a little bit of moisture here and there. Not a big deal with a water penetrating sealer. So using a pump sprayer, we're gonna apply it. The only areas we're concerned with are the top of the cap. We might back roll that just so there's no ponded or pooled sealer in those areas. But everything's coming together really well.